Getting started with SAS Enterprise Miner. Exploring input data and replacing missing values. This is the second in a series of six Getting Started with SAS Enterprise Miner instructional videos. Together, the videos present a stepwise approach to a real world data mining problem using SAS Enterprise Miner 13.2 on SAS 9.4. In the previous video segment, you created a new SAS Enterprise Miner project, defined a new data library, created a new data source, and then you placed the input data source on your new process flow diagram. In this video segment, you will perform the following tasks. Explore the statistical properties of the variables in the input data set. Partition the input data into training and validation data sets. Specify how SAS Enterprise Miner should handle missing data. In the last video, you created a new process flow diagram and a raw donor data source. Let's begin by exploring the data to see what we have and perhaps see what we don't have. Visualizing the input data helps you observe possible patterns and check for missing values before you build a model. Weak data does not build robust models. To understand our raw donor data, let's use the Stat Explorer node to generate some descriptive statistics. From the Explore tab on the toolbar, select and drag the Stat Explorer node onto the diagram workspace. Connect the donor raw data input data source to the Stat Explorer node. After connecting the two nodes, select the Stat Explorer node. In the Properties panel for the Stat Explorer node, scroll down to the Chi Square Statistics and then use the drop down menu to set the Interval Variables property to Yes. When calculating Chi Squared statistics for interval variables, Enterprise Miner distributes the interval variables into five bins then determines the chi-squared values for the bin variables when you run the node. To run the Stat Explorer node, right-click it in the Diagram workspace, and then click Run from the menu. Click Yes when the dialog box prompts you for confirmation. When you run a SAS Enterprise Miner node, all of its predecessor nodes are also run in order. Nodes that are outlined in green are currently running. Nodes that display a check mark inside a green circle have run successfully. In the window that appears after processing completes, click Results. The Stat Explorer Results Browser opens. The Stat Explorer node Results Browser displays the following A chi square plot orders the top 20 variables by their chi squared statistics. The SAS output from the node displays computations and summary statistics. A variable worth plot orders the input variables by their worth in predicting the target variable. Let us examine the SAS output in the results more closely. In the class variable summary, the income group and wealth rating variables have missing values. Now, Let's look at the interval variable summary in the SAS output. The interval variables for donor age and months since last prom response also show missing values. Notice that some of the interval variables in the SAS output show relatively large standard deviation values of 100 and above. In a moment, we will explore transformations to reduce the variance in those variables with large deviations. Now we want to partition the raw donor data into training and validation data sets. Partitioning the data helps to manage the quality of the model during fitting. Training data is reserved for preliminary model fitting. Validation data is reserved to empirically test the model without overfitting the data. Test data is reserved for an optional final assessment of the model. The Enterprise Miner Data Partition node is the tool we use to partition our raw data 
into training and validation datasets. Locate the Sample tab on your Enterprise Miner toolbar and drag the Data Partition node onto your diagram. Connect it to the Stat Explorer node as shown. Select the Data Partition node in your Process Flow diagram. In the Properties panel, view the Dataset Allocations in the Train Properties. For Training, enter 55.0. For Validation, enter 45.0. For test, enter 0.0. 55% of the data is partitioned for training, and 45% of the data is partitioned for validation. This exercise does not use test data, so no test data partition is created. Now, let's run the process flow diagram once more to generate the data partitions that you configured. Right-click the data partition node and click Run. Click Yes in the Confirmation window. In the window that appears after processing completes, click OK. Your Donor Raw Data dataset is now partitioned into Train and Validation Partitions. After the data is partitioned, you can prepare to replace missing values. Select the Modify tab on the toolbar and drag the Replacement node onto the diagram then connect it to the Data Partition node, as shown. Select the Replacement node. In the Properties panel, under Interval Variables, set the Default Limits method to None. None indicates that no interval variable values should be replaced. The default setting of standard deviations from the mean would enforce a range of values for each interval variable, which is not suitable for this example. Next we'll specify replacement values for the class variables in the dataset. To configure class variable replacement, click the ellipsis button to the right of the replacement editor field in the replacement node properties panel. This action opens the replacement editor. Notice that variables cess and urbanicity both show levels that display the value question mark in the formatted value columns. For these variables, the question mark level represents observations that have missing values. In the replacement value column, enter missing, as shown, for the cess and urbanicity variables. Soon, we will impute replacement values for the observations in these variables that have missing values. Now, scroll up in the replacement editor to the variable donor gender. There are donor gender values for female, F, male, M, unknown, U, and a data entry error that reads A. In the replacement value column, enter unknown, as shown, as the value for the variable donor gender. The replacement values for the variable cess and urbanicity will be new variables named rep cess and rep urbanicity. Click OK. Run the replacement node by right-clicking it and selecting Run. When the Run status window opens, you can browse your Enterprise Miner replacement results or select OK to continue. Let's look at results. Results show that 248 train values and 206 validation values are generated for the new replacement variables repsess and repurbanicity. Original variables cess and urbanicity are set to role equals rejected and are exported as rejected variables with the output data. During this video segment, you accomplished the following data mining tasks. You used a Stat Explorer node and examine the statistical properties of the variables in the input dataset. You used a data partition node to divide the input data into training and validation datasets. And you used a variable replacement node to replace missing values in the input data. This completes the second segment of the Getting Started with SAS Enterprise Miner video series. To continue the tutorial, see the next segment. 
Getting started with SAS Enterprise Miner, building decision trees. SAS Enterprise Miner automatically saves your project work when you close the software. Your project work will be saved and available the next time you open a SAS Enterprise Miner session.